Now at five in the war of words between President Trump and a pair of morning television news hosts. The president engaging in another Twitter tirade today. Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski answered his attacks that drew condemnation from both sides of the political aisle. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is in the control room covering this story for us as well today. Elliot. Well, Rick, the back and forth between President Trump and the host of MSNBC's Morning Joe is not dying down. The anchors had something to say to the president this morning, and Mr. Trump immediately let them know he was watching their show, even bringing up a scandalous story in the National Enquirer. Yesterday was just another example of just how deeply personal he is. He attacks women. Morning Joe anchors Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski delayed their vacation to respond to the Twitter attack from President Trump. He's so easily played by a cable news host. Now, what is that saying to our allies? What is that saying to our enemies? The president jumped back into the feud this morning, tweeting, watch low-rated Morning Joe for first time in long time, fake news. Yesterday, Trump took to Twitter to call the show's anchors low IQ Mika and Psycho Joe. He claimed Brzezinski was bleeding badly from a facelift when she visited Mar-a-Lago this past winter. The tweet mentioned the National Enquirer, which ran a story saying Scarborough and Brzezinski had an affair while they were both married. Trump tweeted, Scarborough called me to stop a National Enquirer article. I said no. Scarborough says that's not what happened. We got a call that, hey, the National Enquirer is going to run a negative story against you guys. And it was, um, you know, uh, Donald is friends with, the president is friends with the guy that runs the National Enquirer. And they said, if you call the president up and you apologize for your coverage, uh, then he will pick up the phone and basically spike the story. The Inquirer issued a statement saying, at no time did we threaten either Joe or Mika or their children in connection with our reporting on the story. We have no knowledge of any discussions between the White House and Joe and Mika about our story and absolutely no involvement in those discussions. Once again, the president is being accused of attacking women, and no one seems more incensed than Republican commentator and Miami resident Ana Navarro. I thought to myself, this dude has got such a fixation with women and blood. What is wrong with him? And then you remember that this dude, this disgusting dude, is the president of the United States. Listen, you crazy lunatic 70-year-old man, baby, stop it. You are now the president of the United States, and you need to stop acting like a mean girl. Ana Navarro not holding back, a Quinnipiac University poll taking before this recent Twitter war shows 61% of those surveyed think the president should stop tweeting from his personal account. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.